There's four major bones, three major ligaments on the outer part of the ankle, and then a group of ligaments on the inner part of the ankle, uh, and then six muscles that are involved with active or dynamic stability of the ankle, whereas the ligaments are more involved with passive stability. So the three major bones we're gonna start talking about are the talus, the fibula, and the tibia. So the talus sits between, in between the fibula and the tibia at the bottom section, uh, which creates the major joint of the ankle. So the bottom part of the fibula creates the bony part on the outer part of the ankle, which is the lateral malleolus and the bony part on the inner part of the ankle is created by the tibia and that's the medial malleolus and the talus sits right up in the middle. Then underneath the talus you've got the calcaneum which creates the heel uh, and between the calcaneum and the talus is the subtalar joint which provides a little bit of sideways movement uh, but most of the mobility of the ankle is occurring uh, from the joint between the talus, the fibula and the tibia. So as I was talking about before, there's three major ligaments on the outer part of the ankle that provide the passive stability to the ankle or the constant stability. So they include the anterior talofibular ligament or the ATFL, which sits more to the front, the calcaneofibular ligament, which is or CFL, which is more to the side, and then the posterior talofibular ligament or PTFL, uh, which is more to the back. And then on the opposite side of the ankle, you've got the deltoid ligament, which is a strong uh, collection of ligaments on the inner part of the ankle. So the three most notable muscles for st active stability of the ankle are the perineal or fibularis muscles uh, and the tibialis posterior muscles. So the fibularis or perineal muscles, so they're either perineal longus or brevis or fibularis longus or brevis, depending on which book you're reading or depending on who you're talking to, uh, run along the outside of the ankle uh, and then tibialis posterior runs along the inner side of the ankle and they provide the active stability or to control some of the sideways movement. So three other notable muscles to consider are the two muscles that make up the calf, so the gastrocnemius and soleus, uh, and tibialis, tibialis anterior, which runs along the front of the ankle. So all of these muscles in combination help to provide active stability of the ankle. So the final structures to consider when it comes to anatomy is the nerves. So running along the inner part of the ankle is the tibial nerve and running along the outer part of the ankle is the sural nerve. Hey, thanks for watching our video. If you liked it, we would love it if you would hit the thumbs up button below. It lets YouTube know that we know what we're talking about and that we're helping people. Um, if you like the style of our videos and you'd like to see more of them and know when a new one is published, then just hit the subscribe button. And if you've got any thoughts or comments or questions, uh, please add them below because we answer all of them and we love to hear comments because it helps us to shape the channel and find out what people want to know. It helps it to become as relevant as possible for everyone. So thank you.